Right, hopefully I'm in shot. Um, I bought a little chair. I bought a new um, sort of small jumping chair. So it's the Van Gogh Microlite. I'm going to open it up now and look at it. Hopefully I'm in shot. I'll be able to check afterwards. But it's a uh, chair from Van Gogh. It's a very small, compact, um, lightweight camping chair. Hiking chair, whatever you want to use it for. Just called a Microlite chair. Um, read the stats that they give it. So uh, they reckon it's... Um, Kilogram in weight feels about right. I can't have got any scales to weigh it, but it's not it's not particularly heavy, which is nice. Thought that might happen. Okay, they reckon it's rated to 120 kilograms maximum load, so that's 18 stone 12 pounds. It says that on there. I didn't do a conversion in my head that quickly. Um, what else does it say about it? Because it's a 600 dernier polyester body, soft yet strong and durable. Okay. Uh, it's got mesh side panels to allow air throw, flow. It's got an aluminium frame. Uh, the frame folds down and it's supplied with a carry bag, as you can see. Anyway, uh, when it's folded, it reckons it's 44 by 11 by 8.5 centimetres. And when it's built, it reckons it's 50 by 45 by 67. Okay. Anyway, we'll get it out and have a look. It's the best way to do it. So, we have. I'm assuming these are so you can strap it to your pack or something. Two little loops there. Carry grab handle there. And a zip there. So. Now I ordered this specifically because I'm camping at the moment in, and it's been 20 to 25 degrees all week, really sunny. And it's been no shade for me. It's too hot in the tent and no shade, so I've put my tarp up and couldn't sit in my chair underneath it. I had a big camping chair, which I'll show you in a bit. Ah, okay. Right, so that's the side for a sec. Ah, it's half self building then. But these poles are elasticated. See, they sort of they all fold down the main shaft and then they got sort of bungee cord, stretchy elastic on. So you can build them out like that. Those two, those two. Now these ones. Okay, these ones, you push the poles, when they're folded, you push the pole through, and then another two sections. Ah, okay. That's the frame. Ah, that's better. Stable. Okay, so we get the back on. So it's quite quick to assemble by the look of it, seeing as it's taken me all of two seconds to build that. experience new products tend to be a bit stretchy when you've got to put them on things like this. I know, fits fine. Ah, it's the chair assembled quite quickly. Yeah, weighs absolutely nothing. If I move back a bit, hopefully, I'm in shot still. Okay. First impressions, it's strong. Doesn't feel like it's... Yeah, doesn't feel like it's going to break anytime soon with me sat on it like this. Um, it's a bit of a lounging chair. It feels like I've got to have my feet on the ground to keep me in position. So it's sort of a, a lounge back position like this. Yeah, so if I sit up like this, I've just sort of sat on it rather than in it. And also, ooh, it's easy to tip over on a slope. The slope going down that way here, so let's try it that way. Yeah, that's better. It's not so easy to tip. And it won't tip sideways, so don't face it downhill, basically. And it's not tipping back when I'm facing up the hill, and it won't tip forwards very easily nice so yeah I like the look of this um pack it away and see how long that takes I guess
might put a velcro strap around all of that to keep it together rather than elastic bands. I find elastic bands are okay until either you lose them obviously or uh, they age and then the rubber sticks to everything and it looks horrible. So. Hold in. And then look at you. Like that. Let's see how it fits in the back. Okay, if you, if you fold it up that way, straight away. So, not long to take out, not long to pack away. Um, I like the look of it. I'll definitely. Uh, take it out camping with me. Whether I'll take it out walking with me, maybe, if I had a reason to stop, if I was perhaps going out to sit and just chill out and have some food somewhere, might take this. Wild camping, I would take it if I was going heavy. Um, and I was going to have a good time sat down again, but I wouldn't take it on my average wild camp. Nice little chair. Uh, I think it retails about £60. I didn't pay that for it, but I think it retails about that. So, it's completely up to you what you fancy for a chair. Um, I was looking for one of these, and I've got one. So, yeah. anyway, I'll show you what else I've got at the moment. This is the chair I'm currently using. It's a nice big comfy chair, but when I've got the tarp up on my tent, it won't fit. And it also won't fit in the awning of my tent. Or it will, but when I'm sat in it, my head touches the top, so in the rain, that's no good. And that was the other reason for buying the small one was so that when it's, when it's chucking it down with rain, I'm in my tent, I can sit in the awning there, nice and dry, without my head touching the top. Whereas before I had to sit on a, on a like a kneeling mat. Yeah, well, that's my little mini sort of build of the Bango Microlite there anyway. I'll, um, I'll have to get some use out of it and then do another little sort of review video to tell you how I'm getting on with it. So, thanks for watching.